In this video, we will learn how to create a chat bot to chat with our own documents using Llama Index. Llama Index, which is an alternative to LangChain, Llama Index gives us the ability to build powerful applications based on large language models. These applications include document Q&A, data augmented chatbots, knowledge agents, and structured analysis. We can also connect with different data sources, which include unstructured data, structured data, and semi-structured data as well. Using Llama Index, we can quickly build LLM-based application, just like LangChain. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we will be creating a chat board to chat with multiple documents using Llama Index, and we will be using Google Palm 2 large language model, which is a free open source model. And it's not like closed source model like OpenAI, which has a cost associated, but Google Palm 2 model is a free open source model, and we will use it assessing this model through the API key. So let's get started. Let me show you the architecture, how we can we'll create a chat for to chat with multiple documents. So here is the complete architecture. In the step number one, the user uploads all the documents, which include PDF files, .text files, docs files. In the step number two, we extract all the data that we have in the PDF, text, or docs files. Then uh, you all know that uh, the Google Palm 2 or any other large language model, which include, uh, which uh, including open source or closed source model has an input token limit. As we are using Google Palm 2 model in this uh, tutorial. So Google Palm 2 model has an input token limit of 8096 token and one token is equal to four English characters. So it becomes a 32,000 English characters. So Google Palm 2 cannot uh, take more than 32,000 English characters at the input. So this is the uh, input limit, like 8096 token and it is almost 32,000 uh, English characters. So when we extract data from multiple documents, which include PDF, text files, so this data can be, the extracted data can be more than 32,000 English characters. So we cannot pass that data directly to our Google Palm 2 model. We need to split uh, that data into small chunks. So what we do in step number three, we split all the extracted data in small number of chunks and we can define that in each chunk. We have maximum 500 English characters or 800 English characters. We can define this. And after creating text, small text chunk or after dividing the data into small text chunks, then we create embeddings for each of the text chunks. So embeddings are basically used to compress the size of the text chunk. Embeddings are basically vectors that contain floating point numbers like you can see over here, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. So these are uh, uh, this is how embeddings look like. So embeddings are basically vectors that contain floating point numbers. So that we now we create embeddings for each of the text chunk. If we have 100 text chunk, we will create 100 embeddings. If we have 10 text chunk, we will create 10 embeddings as well. So we create embedding for each of the text chunk. Then we basically save all those embeddings uh, in the knowledge base. So we build a semantics index and then we save uh, all those embeddings into a knowledge base or a vector database. Okay, so this is the step number four. So now after we have saved all the embeddings in the knowledge base, so when the user asks a question, we create embeddings for that question and then we try to find answers for, for that question from our vector database. So we can rank a four to five top answers for that question. So we have the option like how many answers you want to rank for that question. So we just rank four to five top answers for that question. And after ranking uh, those answers, we pass that uh, question directly to the, our Google Palm 2 model as well. And we pass the rank answers to the Google Palm 2 model as well. And Google Palm 2 model gives us a natural response at the end. So this is how it looks like. So this is the complete architecture overview. And let's uh, move towards the implementation part. But before I move towards the implementation part, uh, let me show you how you can get your uh, Google Palm API. Okay, so you will just write Google Palm API uh, to API over here, and then you just need to click on first link from here. Okay, so Google Palm API key is available under Maker Suite. So you just need to go to Maker Suite from here. Okay, and uh, you need to request for the uh, for the uh, for the access of the API key. I have already I've been granted access to the API key. Uh, it takes five to six hours 
after this you will be uh, you will get access to the api key so i will just create a new api key you can create multiple api keys i've already created one so i will just copy this and i will be using this in my tutorial okay so let's move towards the google goal app part So now over here you can see that uh, let me see. so over here you can see that no notebook we will be uh, doing chat with multiple documents using uh, llama index so i'm just connecting so before running the script you can please make sure uh, that you have selected uh, cpu or gpu so i will be using cpu you can also use a gpu as well so it's your choice okay because we will be assessing the large number model for api key so we don't need the GPO, we can easily use CPU as well. So in the step number one, uh, I will install all the required packages. So which include Llama Index. So Llama Index is just a framework that allows us to build large language models, build applications powered by large language model and to extract the data from PDF files with the PyPDF package and to use Google Palm uh, or to assess the Palm to model to API key with by Google Generative package and to download embeddings from Hugging Face requires Transformers package and to store the embeddings or to store the uh, to save the embeddings we can use Lama CP Python package uh, you can ignore this in this case uh, we are not doing this currently okay so all the packages are getting installed so let's see this will take few more seconds So after these packages get installed, I will report all the required library. So simple directory loader is to load all the data uh, in which in which we have in our directory, which include PDF files, .txt files, or doc files. Then we have vector store index so that we can store our embeddings. And we are using Google Palm model as our as our large language model. So we are importing Palm. And to display the output or response, we require this display library. Then we have service contents uh, and so storage contents. So these two libraries are used to save the embeddings. And then we have load index so that we can load the embeddings which we have saved and import OS so that we can uh, pass over Google uh, Google Palm API key as well. Okay. So these packages are getting installed. So this might take few more seconds. So well, now you can see that uh, all the packages are installed. Let's import the required libraries over here. So now I will be just creating a directory over here in the file sec folder by the name data. So MKD, I will create a directory over here. Now you can see that a directory is created, but it's an empty directory. So what I will do is I will just upload some PDF files and some text files over here. So I will just go to over here. And just I will upload these three files over here. So now you can see that I'm just uploading a sample resume. And then I have the state of the union.txt file. So, so here we have the US president speech. Complete speech is given over here. And uh, this is a Yolo V7 paper. This is a Yolo V7 is basically object detection model. And this is the official paper of Yolo V7. Okay. So now what we're doing is that using simple directory reader, I'm just uh, extracting all the data which we have in this directory, data directory, and uh, we will just uh, extract all the data which we have in this PDF file, .txt file, and .pdf file. And then I will just save this data into my documents variable. So I'm just extracting and loading the data which we have in this PDF and .txt file. So let me show you all this data. So now you can see that we have extracted all the data that we have in those two PDFs files and that uh, .txt file. So you can see this is a huge amount of data which we have in our PDF.txt files. Okay, so quite a huge amount of data. Okay. So now what we can do is further, I will just create an environment over here and just pass my Google Palm API key because we are using Palm uh, to model as our large language model right here. Okay. So now I'm just configuring the service context. Okay. What would I use?
Well, previously I was just getting errors, so you just need to select the runtime as GPU, so this will sort out the errors. So uh, Google Code App offers a free uh, GPU, but it's for li a limited usage, so that you can use that uh, free GPU. So next, what we do is uh, now, as you know, that we have extracted the data and it's in the documents variable on the data that we have in the, our data directory, which includes the we have extracted data from the PDF file .txt file and this PDF file .pdf file as well. So now what we will do is we will split that data into small chunks and each chunk will have maximum 800 English characters and there will be an overlap of 20 English characters. So I have here and I'm just passing my large language model, which is we are using Google Palm model. So let's run this. And over here, uh, hugging phase embeddings will be uh, used by default. So now you can see that using hugging phase embeddings with model name. So this is the embedding model which is being used and the embeddings are being downloaded over here. Okay, so this will take a few seconds. So now what we are doing is that uh, uh, here we have the documents. So now we have split our data into small number of chunks. Next, what we do is uh, basically we create embeddings for each of the text chunks. So now we are just creating embeddings for each of the text chunk over here. So if you just want to store the embeddings as well, so you can uh, just check these embeddings. So now you can see over here, we have the storage folder. And you can see all those in the JSON format. So if you just open this over here. So now you can see the embedding dictionary over here. So these are all the floating point number. And over here. So you can just change the details. All those details over here. Yeah. Okay, so you can find all those details, all these details over here. So you can just download the embeddings. And if you just want to, uh, instead of creating the embeddings again, if you just want to load the embeddings, you can just un uh, uncomment this code and run this. So now let's do a question answer with our documents. Or you can say that we are not doing, uh, we will be not doing chat with our documents. So this is my uh, first question, uh, Rachel, what is Rachel Green qualification, which is from this PDF file. Okay. And now over here, I will just get the response. So Rachel Green has a PhD in English from the University of Learners at Urbana Cafe. So next question, which I will ask is, uh, YOLO V7 is trained on which data set? So it's MS Poco data set. Okay. So that's correct. You know, we seven out performs which models. So this is another question which I've asked over here. You know, seven out performs the following model. You know, R, you know, X, you scaled, you know, four, the ETR. So, and many other object detectors in speed and accuracy. So you can see the response and uh, let's ask question from this dot txt. <laughs> okay. So this is if show up here sometime. So let's ask some other question. So let's ask about your not zero. So you know, we have an object rejection method. It is pro proposed by the authors in the paper. You know, we have yet another object detector. So that's all good from this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have seen that how we can chat with different documents which include pdf file dot txt file you can just upload dot docs file as well and other presentation slides as well and we have seen that how we can chat with different documents using llama index and google palm 2 model so that's all from this tutorial thank you for watching